you guys how I made this tufted bench for the end of my bed. Um, I've already pre-measured how far apart um, I wanted my holes and things according to the size of the wood that I have. So here I'm just marking where the holes are going to go and drawing the lines where the tufts should appear with the fabric. If you guys want more details on how I measure and things like that, that just leave a comment um, below and that information that information for you guys or leave it down below in the description bar so here I've already um, went ahead and drilled the holes and we're gonna get started with the top <laughs> Okay, so I am getting ready to make a bench to go at the end of my bed. This is my wood and the holes are already pre-drilled and there's 25 holes minus this black spot. But there's 25 holes for a tufted bench and yeah, that's that. Um, and over here, I am sitting in front of my heater because I am cold. A little space heater. Um, I began making the buttons because I wanted like the little crystal looking um, jewels for the tufted part of my bench and it was a hassle finding the right size for a decent price at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Amazon. And I just got tired of looking. So I did find these little kits, um, do DIY cover button kits, and the buttons were the perfect size because I have so many that I'm trying to fit in such a kind of small space. I didn't want them too big and be overbearing. So I bought these and it comes with um, five of these little things with the backs, uh, with the backs. And it also comes with the little kit. And I've already made quite a bit of them already. It's really, really simple to make making a mess here. It's really easy to make. So, and be sure that you guys pay attention to your fabric because I don't know if you can tell, but this one, the bottom one compared to the top one. Yeah, you can see this one has no shine and that one does. But oh well, it's going to be in my room. Should nobody be up in there inspecting my buttons on my bench. Anyway, this is the fabric that I got. It's a silvery, shiny material. And that's the back side. And it's real pretty and soft. And all I did was got one yard of the fabric. And I cut the button pieces from the back side of this so when you buy the kit you just turn it over and you'll see there's a handy dandy pattern on the back for you and all I did was cut that out and I put this piece here on the fold of the fabric and just cut around and I cut out these little 
oval, round sort of kind of thing with jig. And I'm gonna show you guys how I make one. They're real easy. So you take this, there's a deep side and a kind of flat side. Flat, deep. So you take the deep side, you place your fabric over it, kind of, you take one of the little buttons and you kind of try to make it even, you know, kind of centered on all sides. And you just kind of press down, press it in. And once it's all pressed in, you're just gonna tuck the fabric in like so. You get your little top, put the top piece on. Oh, that just popped out. Put your top piece on, and it has a little blue piece that also has a deep side and a flat side just put the and you should you can just press down with your hand but uh, one side went in further than the other side so I just got this my pink clay rose petal mask clay mask that I put on my face that's a whole different tutorial and it's glass so I use that on a hard surface which is my floor and you just press in and you just pop it out. And you have a button. Wraps all the way around. Yeah. And that's it. So I'm gonna make one more for you guys to see. This one kind of jacked up. But after cutting 25 of these, I was kind of over it. It actually didn't take that long. Let me just pop that in and tuck the extra. And put that on there. Put this on there. And I'll just use this because it's flat and heavy. Just press down. And looks pretty decent. And just pop it out. And that's your button. I'm going to add that to the stack. Okay, so we are back. Here's my board. I had some leftover foam from my daughter's bench that is actually one inch, um, one inch thick, right? And as you can see, it does not cover the whole board. It's a little short. So I went and bought this foam that is two inches. And yeah, we're just gonna patch this baby together to the best of our ability because I did not want to buy a whole nother piece of foam being cheap. Um, but that's all good. I just wanted to use what I have and then we're gonna, and yeah, we're gonna figure this out. And then there's the leftover batting that goes over. We're gonna need a staple gun, some more scissors. We got our buttons. We also have our wax button thread. It doesn't have to be wax, I'm guessing, but this is what my Hobby Lobby have for $3.99. So that's what I got, my fabric. And you're also gonna need some upholstery um, needles. Was $5.49 from my Hobby Lobby. And it has different sizes, different thickness. You know, use what you want. And my fabric was also five dollars and some change. It was like originally eight ninety nine, but I had my forty percent off coupon. So yeah, so it was like five thirty nine. Yeah. So that plus the buttons. The buttons were. 
Clayton kits were five in a pack for $1.77 and I got those from Walmart. I think I already said that, but if not, now you know. So what I'm going to do is cut this to fit this and get it on the board and then I'll be back. Okay, so what I did, I've taken my foam and turned it the long way and cut it in half. So now I have two one inch pieces that will give me two inch foam, the same size as that. And now that I've turned it the long way, as you can see, we made it work. So I can cut that piece off and everything's gonna be everything. Go long. Oh. So what you want to do is take your needle, have a marker handy, and you want to go through the back. And where your needle comes out at, and you pull it back in, you just want to make a dot, okay? And you just want to do that for all the spots. We'll know where all of the holes need to go. So, this part pays to have. Okay, so I got the batting on, uh, the batting on, and you can still see, I went back and made the holes darker with the purple marker so I can see through the batting. And now we're gonna take our scissors and we're just gonna poke, poke and twist. And I'm just gonna poke and twist all the holes so that when I get ready to put the buttons in, once I put the fabric on top, and you can feel the hole. So you can kind of open it up, your scissors up a little like that kind of poke and turn and then to give you like a bigger hole a bigger hole and it's easier to find You can see my two pieces it's coming up. I hope that's, I think I'm gonna have to spray that little piece so it can kind of stay in place because I don't want that line to show through once I put my fabric on. Have that little crease piece going down the center of the bench. But if it did, it wouldn't be that big a deal because it's my bench and I made it myself. And shouldn't nobody be in my room, like I said before. I ball in my bench. 
So yeah, I'm just going to continue this and then I'll be back.